So when we first when we first started out, the uh, the focus really was on apparel, and the reason for that is the dynamics of the uh, apparel industry and how decisions are made in terms of the buy. Once you buy a particular product, if it doesn't sell well in a certain season, um, the customer, the retailer needs to mark it down, right, or write off that particular product. So being able to identify the right products to buy and then putting them in the right location based on the buying patterns of customers so that you're not marking the product down, uh, as well as making sure you have enough of it so you don't have stock outs, right? So the customer's looking for the product and it's not there for them to, to buy. Um, there is a very acute need within apparel and fashion. So that was where we focused, that was where we focused first. Um, we are now moving into more hardline, uh, you know, electronics, uh, do-it-yourself and home improvement, big box retailers. Uh, we've had a lot of success within department stores, uh, which frankly are uh, really trying to, to, to find their way in terms of being able to present a very compelling assortment of brands uh, to their customers and being able to identify and truly connect with what the preferences are for their customers is, a, is, is something that's extremely important to them. The longer term vision in terms of where we're going is really around the idea of inventory portfolio optimization. Where we've started today is really focused on the merchandising planning and allocation process within, uh, within retail, um, but we see a much bigger opportunity across the entire supply chain, right? And through that value chain from brand and manufacturers to distribution, uh, all the way to retail across all different, uh, all different touch points and channels, whether it be you know, online, direct, via wholesale, uh, or retail uh, in-store uh, experiences and you think about what inventory is needed, how much of inventory, in what assortment, and then at each step across that supply chain, identifying, okay, how much should I be buying? Which distribution centers or fulfillment centers should I be bringing that product into? Uh, how much of that product goes to each individual store? In what assortment? When a customer buys a product online, every customer that, every retailer who we work with today is starting to do uh, what's called ship from store. They want to use their, uh, their stores effectively as fulfillment centers. This allows them to push inventory into the stores uh, and then when an order comes in, be able to ship it from a store that might be near a particular, uh, near where that customer is, uh, is buying the product from. One of the challenges there is that um, what retailers are doing today is they're just looking for the closest store and they might be pulling that inventory out of a store where the product would actually sell on its own through that season and it's sitting on the shelf uh, in another store 100 miles away, they have an opportunity to optimize that. And again, comes down to this inventory portfolio optimization, which products where and then where to ship them from to get them to the, uh, to get them to the end customer.